In Onshape, you can create datums in a drawing to support geometric dimensioning and tolerancing. Let's see how to do that. First, let me zoom in a little bit and pan this over where I want to start creating them. To create a datum, you are going to click on the datum icon in the ribbon. Here we can see the tooltip. You will place a datum reference attached to an entity, select an entity, edge or point to attach the datum to, and then click to place the datum. Let's click on the icon. Here you can see that we are automatically getting a label for the letter A since this is the first datum that I am placing in the drawing. If you want to use a different letter, you can type that in instead. Now I will left click on the entity that I want to use and then we can drag it to where we want the letter to appear and then left click again. You can also use cylindrical surfaces. So for example, I will left click on the curved arc and then left click in order to place the datum. And once more, let's left click and then left click to put in our third datum. Let me hit the check mark to complete out of the command. Then you can click on an entity and drag it to where you want it to appear. Oops, let me make sure that it stays aligned with the edge. And then I can left click on the background. Let's do that one more time with this one. I can click on it and then drag it downwards and then we get the automatic extension line. Let's take a look at another variation of how you can do the datums. Let me jump over to a different drawing. And this one has some dimensions. Let me zoom in on a couple of the views over here. Let's create our datums. Again, we are automatically getting the letter A. Let me left click on an entity and then left click where I want it to appear. In addition, when you are creating your datums, instead of attaching them to the edges or points of geometry, you can actually also select your different dimension lines. So let's click that one and let's also click this one and then left click in order to locate it. Now that I'm done, we can hit the check mark. I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. And once again, we can left click on the different entities. Now I can eyeball it exactly where I want these to appear. Left click on this one. Oops, let's deselect. Left click on this one and then drag this one so that it lines up where I want it to be. And in that way, we are able to create our datums and then we can jump into creating geometric tolerances. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindshield.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.